Radio. I will discuss relevant issues affecting animals and pet owners today, how to avoid common problems, and how to extend the quality of life for your cherished companions. As a community advocate, I will also discuss important social issues that affect our city. I plan to showcase organizations and heroes who are doing amazing things to help others. Remember to tune in every Tuesday morning at 10, starting soon. This is Barbara Berrigan Perea with Delta Flows, a radio show by the voice of Stockton and Restore the Delta. This is the weekly radio show where we discuss everything Delta related, the environment, water management, water quality, farming, history and culture, public events, recreation, Delta food and the arts. Tune in to Delta Flows on KXVS, the voice of Stockton, streaming live on Facebook and YouTube at KXVS Radio. KXVS on 92.1. Coming soon. The views and opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect those of KXVS, the voice of Stockton, or its parents, affiliates, management, and staff. Welcome to another exciting episode of Tales and Tips. I am honored today to have with me with Ray of Visit Stockton. But before we get to our show, we are going to have a PSA about our wonderful professional American Basketball Association team, Rockets Trouble. And James, Paul, and Dave Avila are going to do that PSA. Go ahead, James, take it away. Well, thank you, Doctor. We're uh, really appreciative of the time and the opportunity here to, to be with you guys this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, certainly, we're just trying to get the word out about uh, what we're bringing to the community and, and inviting uh, our, our community and our citizens to come on out and enjoy a wonderful uh, program and a wonderful show at the Stockton Arena, uh, completely free of charge, um, you know, no catch, no gimmicks. Uh, the American Basketball Association is a very, very high-paced uh, style of basketball, professional basketball, and uh, we have done a very, very solid job here in our community of bringing together uh, local talent and representing Stockton on this national stage. Uh, currently ranked number nine in the country uh, out of 120 teams and climbing. Uh, we've got a, a, a wonderful group of talented guys that all have grown up here, gone to school here, and uh, and we're really excited about what they're doing. Um, uh, we're also very, very excited about working with the uh, Disabled American Veterans Association and continuing to get the word out um, with 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 uh, with what we're doing, what we're trying to bring and um, and allow our community to enjoy the Stockton Arena, a beautiful location. If you haven't been inside, uh, please come on out uh, this coming Sunday at 209, as well as Monday, Martin Luther King Day at 630. Uh, we will have two great games against some very, very tough teams. The Orange County Nova Stars are coming to town, as well as the Monterey California Sea Kings. And the Sea Kings is the one team that, that has beaten you, isn't that the correct? The one team that's gotten us, yeah. We do have a single loss error on our record at the moment, and uh, we're, we're definitely looking to, to recoup that uh, against that team. Uh, the Orange County Nova Stars are also a very, very difficult team. Uh, they're the single team out of uh, Orange County and Los Angeles, so as you can imagine, uh, there's a big pool of, of talent and, and playing uh, players in that area. And the team is amazing. I had the privilege of going on Sunday and seeing you guys kick butt against the San Diego Surf. And I'm looking forward to coming and seeing more games. And all of Stockton should come and see you. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Doctor. You know, I'm also excited because of what you're doing for the community and the veterans in the community and involving them and, the, uh, and, the, and their families and inviting them out to... Uh, participating in games as well as the color guard and discovery challenge academy and the other military organizations i know you're going to be a, a, a asset to the community by doing that and involving and mentoring kids and high school kids and getting them involved in sports and what's going on in the community that's it thank you so much for doing that james thank you david we're, we're really excited about what we're doing uh we hope that this excitement will continue to grow and and catch hold here in our local community and and uh, bring basketball back to Stockton in a big way. Definitely. And awesome. Visit Stockton is also promoting you as well, which is wonderful. Which is awesome. Yeah. We're excited. Excellent. 
Well, again, Sunday, 2.09 p.m. is tip-off, and Monday, Martin Luther King Day, we are playing at 6.30. Awesome. Thank you, James and David, and thank you again. Stockton is very fortunate to have a professional basketball team in our, in our city. Thank you. All right, and let's take it away now with Wes Ray, and let's talk about Visit Stockton. Let's talk about what the role Visit Stockton has in our community, how long it was founded, how long you've been a part of it. Well, good morning, and thank you again for having me out here this morning. Um, Visit Stockton is what we call the official destination marketing organization for the city of Stockton. Um, we are tasked with marketing and promoting Stockton, um, not only locally uh, and regionally, but also across the state and across the country. Uh, Visit Stockton, and our, our corporate name is Stockton Convention and Visitors Bureau, but it's a very mouthy term, and so uh, we adopted the Visit Stockton moniker a couple years ago um, and we've been around since 1979 and so uh, we are funded from a mechanism um, for the hotel community and so we don't receive any funding from the city of Stockton or general fund we don't compete oh, with them no, we're, we're completely independent we're a nonprofit organization but every time someone stays in a hotel uh, there's an assessment that is paid by the guest the visitor to our community and that assessment goes on to um, Visit Stockton, and that's how a hundred of our type organizations are funded throughout the community, or throughout the state. So uh, we don't take any of those tax dollars. We don't compete against the golf course or <laughs> or, or police and fire or libraries or any of that. Um, and I've been involved. Uh, I've been the um, leading the tourism promotion in the city since 2005. So I just uh, celebrated 12 years of doing this. Wow, that's awesome! And you guys definitely have the heartbeat of the city. Um, I love that you're promoting the city and that's exciting to hear that this is not our tax dollars that are being used to do that. I think a lot of people, when they hear about money being spent on things, that's their first concern. What is this costing me to do this? Um, let's talk about some of the main events that you promote and then let's talk about the cta program as well yeah well we're big on promoting events we have the largest events calendar in the region and we leave that open to actually any san joaquin county event can be posted on there um, we try to stay away from the classes and the seminar type things and really focus on events that of course would have an interest of visitors but not only outside visitors are we focused on we're definitely focused on our local community because we believe that we need to get our locals out there and get them passionate about our city um, but of course we do a few events in-house um, other than the big community events that we support and promote um, we do Stockton Restaurant Week which starts next Friday uh, and that is uh, 10 days of great deals at over 30 restaurants throughout the city and so we're really excited about Stockton Restaurant Week um, and then in the summer in July we'll have Stockton Beer Week and that'll kick off uh, in July, and we'll start that with a Saturday brew fest, our third annual brew fest at the Stockton Arena in July. And then in uh, October, we'll do Stockton Arts Week. And so that is, that'll be our third year of Stockton Arts Week, which is uh, growing to be a, a significant event, which markets and promotes arts events throughout the city for 10 days. And then we actually have a new event this year. We are doing a farm to table dinner. Um, outside on Main Street, one of those you've probably seen those big farm to table dinners where it's one big long table and everybody's at the table, and it's really about celebrating local agriculture and uh, the community that we, we live in. And so, we're doing an event called Feast at the Fox, and that's going to happen on Friday, May 11th. And the um, cool thing is it's going to benefit the Delta College Culinary Program. And so we're working with Chef Mark Berkner over there. Uh, so it's a fundraiser. It's $125 a person. There's only 125 seats available um, on this big one long table that will be on Main Street right outside the Bob Hope Theater. So we're super excited about that new event this year to support the culinary program, but also uh, highlight a five-course meal um, featuring locally grown products. So those are kind of our feature events for this year. Awesome. And how does, let's say someone has an event, how do they reach your organization? Talk about your website, Facebook, and other contact information. Sure. It's real easy to get an event on our website. So first, our, our website is visitstockton.org, and you can navigate to our events calendar. It's our most visited page on our website. And um, we get out over a million page views on our website each year, and primarily half of those are event related. And so you go there and you'll see a submit your event button. So you can do it that way all self um, 
self done and we'll approve that event we want to make sure it's appropriate for our website and that it's in the county and uh, and it fits what we're looking for you can also just give our office a call we have two ways to contact us we have a toll-free number uh, which is 877 877- Seven seven eight six two five eight, which you can actually text or call, uh, and you can uh, contact us that way to submit an event, or you can. Um, and I would suggest talking to Megan at our office; she handles the events calendar. Uh, you can call her that way, or email Megan at visitstockton.org, and she'll get your event up. If you just want to send us a flyer rather than go through the submission process, or if you're having any trouble doing it from a mobile phone, we're more than happy to help you. And of course, we do have a large Facebook presence. Um, we have over fifty thousand followers on Facebook, um, and and then we have uh, you know another 15,000 I think on Instagram and Twitter so we're really big on social media That's awesome. and so it's easy to find visit Stockton by searching any of those and we share those events through that and then we do a weekly events email which I think is one of the best ways folks stay in touch with events in Stockton we have over 15,000 subscribers that each Wednesday in their inbox they get um, the upcoming events for that weekend and then a little teaser from our events that are happening in the future so you really can never say that there's nothing to do in Stockton if you uh, stay a party there our weekly email or our events calendar it's just sometimes it's unbelievable the amount of activities going on in this city and the weekly email i'm on that list and i enjoy that because you might have in the back of your mind oh this is coming up but it's a great reminder and then it it highlights things that i had no idea were going on in stockton um, do you want to talk about some of the more unusual events and things in Stockton that people might not be aware about, either museums or events, things like that? Well, of course, you know, I think most folks that, you know, our listeners here know about most of the cool things that are going in Stockton. But if you haven't checked out the New Hagen Museum renovation, I think that's one you should definitely go check out. I mean, they've done a phenomenal job of modernizing the European and American art galleries of the Hagen Museum, a two and a half million dollar investment in that museum. And this, you know, museum is been a staple of our um our community um gosh it's getting close to 100 years um and i so i think it's very much go check that out and support the museum because it's important that we have that they don't receive any government funds either um but I, you know the cambodian buddhist temple is one that we love to promote uh it's such a unique asset in our community um it's out on carpenter road in east stockton and you know there's over 100 statues there they're larger than life um they're hand painted hand sculpted bright gold and they really they tell the story of the cambodian buddha uh and his um progress to becoming buddha and also just some great statues celebrating buddha so if you haven't been out to the um, cambodian buddhist temple where they have cambodian new year uh, and that'll be in april um, you know, April's a big month for uh, festivals with Cambodia New Year, the Sikh Temple Parade, and Asparagus Festival, of course. So those are usually my top go-to. you got to see the Hagen because I think people don't understand the, the quality of art there. I think when you think, oh, Stockton has a museum, they don't understand that we acquired uh, from a family that had a connection to Stockton a magnificent a European and American art collection that would rival and be jealous of any museum in this country. So we're very, very lucky to have that asset. And the lighting now is amazing. The lighting's now all been upgraded um, to the LED. And we just had our chamber mixer there. And they're still doing the free Saturdays. Is that the first Saturday of the month? First Saturday of every month is free. The Cambodian Buddhist Temple is free all the time, as long as you're during daylight hours, seven days a week. Uh, And the museum does a lot of cool things. Uh, They have their first and third Thursday events where they have some sort of live entertainment. You know, and I would encourage folks to uh, look at their memberships at the museum. It's a great deal to become a member and get free admission. I did the $100 membership this year, uh, the sustaining membership, and I got this national... Uh, North American Reciprocal Museum membership. And so I'm able to go to museums across the country for free. Oh, awesome. And so this weekend we went to the California Museum uh, in Sacramento, and you can go to the Auto Museum in Sacramento, and we went to the Crocker. It didn't cost a dime because Wonderful. we have this museum membership. How do you sign up for that? It's uh, the $100 sustaining membership at the Hagen. Mm-hmm. You get that, and you get your free access to the Hagen. You discount the store, but then you also get this North American Reciprocal Museum membership. And again, there's uh, museums all over California, but then the country that you just walk in, you show them that you're an ARM member, and you get them free. It's phenomenal. And Stockton also has some other amazing museums and cultural centers. Um, we have our Filipino Museum that just opened up last year. Um, we have the Mexican Heritage Center. Yep. 
um, other areas that we, have and our, you know, for kids and families, the Children's Museum, and they have a special exhibit now, the 50 State uh, Trio Pursuit exhibit that's here through Maine. We're very lucky to have that traveling exhibit at the Children's Museum. But, you know, I, I go there probably a few times a year to do some sort of activity. Um, and it's amazing how clean it is, how well maintained it is, and how much they, they put in an effort to make sure that they have the best um, experience for the children that are going there. And then another favorite of mine is Pixie Woods. You know, I think that is a, a jewel in our community. Um, and the Definitely. board of directors that, and I'm on that the you're board. on there um, does a great job. And I hope to see something similar to that uh, when, with Swinson. You know, really yes. a community-driven uh, nonprofit organization that's going to help the city. Because, you know, Pixie Woods is a city asset. And mm-hmm. if we depended on the city to maintain that, you know, with our budget constraints, we wouldn't have the beautiful grounds and the beautiful facility for our children and the children of you know, when I go there, I, I see people that are, I know I've talked to people that are from Sacramento and Modesto and from out of our community. So the Children's Museum and Pixie Woods are both great assets to bring people into our community so they can enjoy things with their kids. And several people that are interested in saving Swenson brought up, can't we do a nonprofit or something where members of the community help to support funding to sustain that the way it is? Yeah, I think that's very important. I mean, we, of course, Government is here to provide services for the community, and that's what they're there for. They're not meant to make money or necessarily break even. We know that. Right. I mean, you know, libraries aren't a profit center, but no. you know, we don't have we don't question their subsidy. So I think it's just a, a balance of what we decide in our community to subsidize, and but the community needs to step up on the same token. Well, and there's limited funding. There's only so much money, and at least with libraries now, we have Measure M, which is yep. helping, and. It, it ha- we have to rely on more than just the city yeah, I for agree. the things that we want. Yeah, and I think it's. I think in the end, you're going to see the community step up and make that successful, um, profitable, uh, whatever it is. If it's just a, a park or a golf course. And and I agree. And there's definitely the support. There was a huge meeting this weekend, and hundreds of people turned out. Um, let's go back and talk about the Children's Museum. And I'm thrilled yeah. that you brought that up. This year's Leadership Stockton class is one of their projects is helping to renovate and upgrade the Children's Museum as well as the Podesto Teen Center. Um, they're actually having a bowling tournament coming up January the 28th at Pacific Bowl. They're still looking for bowlers and you can contact Leadership Stockton regarding t- getting tickets. But I was so thrilled to hear that this year's class is has chosen that as one of the facilities that they want to help. Yeah, I love, I mean, obviously I'm a class of 2003 Leadership Stockton graduate. I did oversee the entire Leadership Stockton program for four years. And so it, it's, it's a close part of my heart. Yes, I, I did that I'm at the chamber. I'm an alumni also. Um, so I was very fortunate. I was, uh, Tim was in one of my classes before he took over the program. And so um, he's a I, wonderful asset for Leadership is. Stockton. So we, I love what they do for the community. And those are the exact kind of organizations we need that just find little projects that are doable. They always scale them the right way. And the, and the most important thing is you don't want to create a project where there's ongoing costs for whoever you do it for in the future. You really want to go in, pay for the project, but make an improvement that's lasting. And I think Leadership yes. Stockton has has a history of doing that um, throughout the years. And it's exciting to see that they're um, giving back to the Children's Museum this year. The Maker's Market uh, last year at the library was a phenomenal project. And it, again, it's something that um, adds great value to our community. So uh, if you haven't checked out the Leadership Stockton program, it's highly recommend that they'll, they'll look for applications coming this summer. Yes, and Leadership Stockton, for those of you that don't know, is a community-run program that teaches you about the inner workings of the city, and it's excellent for our leaders in the community to take part in this, and you work on a project to give back to the community as well. Um, and it's a very rewarding experience, not only from what you learn, but the the contacts and connections that you make. No doubt. I mean, the friendships, uh, you know, this world is based on relationships, and I think that's a very important point to make leadership stock. Definitely, definitely. And I just wanted to go back and, and touch on some of the events that you mentioned earlier. Um, the Stockton Restaurant Week, can you, I know you quickly talked about what that is, but how does someone who wants to find a restaurant find a restaurant with a particular type of food that they like sure. and also find out if they're participating and what does that participation mean in Stockton's Restaurant Week? 
So uh, the Stockton Restaurant Week dot com will bring you right to the page you need to find uh, that's on our website, and we'll like I said all the restaurants are already listed that are participating now, and the, a lot of the menus are already there. So we have an easy drop down. You just click a little button; it'll drop down the menu for that participating restaurant, which will tell you the price of the special that they're offering. So many restaurants do uh, two and three course specials for a set price, and so I just saw I think it's um, like Masaki is doing uh, two for twenty eight, and so you get to pick an uh, appetizer, an entree, and a dessert for two people for $28. So it's all about value and trying out new restaurants. And so that's the easiest way to do that. And it's really about celebrating our restaurants. You know, locally owned and operated restaurants, it's not an easy business, as, as you very well know. They change um, over very quickly, unfortunately. And they do a lot to support our community. I mean, all restaurants do, chain restaurants do too. They really, they employ, I mean, most of us started our careers in restaurants in some way or I another. I did. I did too, washing dishes at Strawberries uh, when it was on the corner of March and uh, Perth. And uh, so that's one thing that they do. They really hire a lot of our youth, but they also give back. They support little leagues and they get, donate to baskets to nonprofits. So restaurants do a, a really significant amount yes. of stuff for our community. So for, for us at Visit Stockton, and this is our ninth year of doing Restaurant Week, it's really about celebrating those locally owned and operated restaurants and an opportunity to, after the holidays, uh, I know you're trying to diet and do all that stuff, <laughs> but go out and support our restaurants. You know, I know plenty of folks that go out there. Uh, Christina Fugazi is one of those who goes out yes. and she'll do like four or five <laughs> restaurants during that week. So, you know, we encourage you to tag your uh, photo Stockton Restaurant Week and have them featured on our social media and just go out and, s- and support local food and get value at the same time. I think that's important. And what are the dates for that? It starts next Friday the 19th and runs through the following Sunday the 28th. Awesome. And the other thing that I like about it is it celebrates a lot of the unique culture that we have in Stockton. And that's one of the amazing things about Stockton is our community is so diverse. And I don't think any peop- anyone or a lot of people realize the number of unique restaurants that we have. There's no doubt about that. We we have a lot of ethnic diversity at Stockton Restaurant Week. We are also uh, showcasing some gluten-free and vegetarian options in our Restaurant Week menu, so you can look yeah, at StocktonRestaurantWeek.com. Awesome. Don will be happy to hear that. Yes, and it's our, a constant our Governor Don is ongoing for request. vegetarian options. So uh, that'll be on there. And yes, we, I mean, actually, we I think we have a dessert, um, an ice cream place coming on this year, too, for a dessert option. So it's not all about great dining. But uh, yeah, one of the, we celebrate that often in, in our um, how we market our city is the diversity of not only our people and our, our festivals and our events are very diverse too. Of course, most of our key food festivals or cultural festivals just celebrate that diversity all the time, but our restaurants really show it too. I mean, you cannot really find a, a missing gap uh, in the restaurant cuisine diversity here in Stockton. And I like that Visit Stockton is out and about, not just with your events, but other community events. Um, it was pretty cool last year at the Asparagus Festival to see you out with a drone and yeah. checking things out and, and showing a bird's eye view of what was going on. Yeah, we you know we like to be out in the community. We want to be a part of this community, and we, one of our core values of our, our organization is to give back to the community, and so we have uh, folks on our team that sit on nonprofits, um, and also we try to volunteer our time. I know our whole team was out there with you when we were at the Emergency Food Bank mm-hmm. uh, during the Thanksgiving awesome. giveaway. Uh, we've done that for a few years, and we look for ways to give back to our community, and we, do a, uh, we support them through gift baskets or whatever we can throughout the year, whatever ability we have. So that's, that's really an important value to us to be involved in our community, because um, again, a lot lot of visitors bureaus you will hardly see what they do because of course their core job is to bring people from out of town right but you gotta you gotta get your locals engaged in what you're doing you've got to i want everybody here to be if you're not a certified tourism ambassador be an ambassador for our city because if you're bad mouth in our city you know i see this all the time i i follow a lot of these pages on facebook and and someone will put something negative on there and then someone will say only in stockton and that's such a ridiculous remark to say only yes. in Stockton that is either someone who's never lived anywhere else uh, <laughs> or just is really wants to hurt our city because there's nothing that happens that is only in Stockton uh, the problems that we have the challenges we have in our community are very much big city problems everywhere yes. and it sometimes happen in small cities so there's nothing no such thing as only in Stockton those kind of negative things don't help us 
and don't help people who want to move businesses here, doesn't help our housing values, you don't realize the impact of negativity has on our community. So we really focus on sharing our events calendar and celebrating restaurants and arts and beer um, throughout the year to really get folks to realize the greatness we have in our city and to celebrate that and realize if you're knocking our city, you're doing damage and it probably best if you, if you can't be part of the solution, you might as well just head out of town. And I'm glad that you mentioned the gift baskets. You guys have been so generous. You've donated gift baskets to some of the events that I've been involved in. Do you want to show? I know you brought some items oh, with did. you. I did. Well, we do have our, our calendar. Um, and so our... Go ahead and show it up at the cameras. Which camera's on? Great. <laughs> kind of put it... There we go. Oh, there we go. So our calendar, that's available. We have a couple cases of these left. They're cool calendars. They actually have tons of events inside. Um, they have local people photos. inside, and, and too. local people. And a lot of our key events are in the calendar. So that's cool. These are free. If you get by our office, uh, you can pick one of those up. And then we also have our, our farm guide and our visitor's guide, which I always suggest folks get um, because this is what you find out what's going on in Stockton. And our new visitor guide come out this week. But if you want to celebrate Stockton, we have a new coffee mug, actually. Oh, cool. Yeah, it has like, like a little cartoon design. drawing. has the arena. The courthouse is actually on there. Children's Museum, Pacific, the Dome, Fox Theater. So, awesome. Uh, it's our new uh, coffee mug for this season. How and, much is one of those? Uh, the coffee mugs are only 6 bucks. Awesome. Uh, we have we have a couple hats. We have a flat bill hat and we have a regular ball cap. I can't remember what the price on this is. I want to say it's 13 or 14 bucks. So the flat bill caps are popular, but we also have a regular ball caps and those are available. We have a if you go to stocktonsouvenirs.com, you can see everything that we sell. I brought you some cool sunglasses. All right. Awesome. We give those away at Stockton Pride Very each cool. year. Uh, these are beautiful. My color too. We have a couple <laughs> of shirts. Um, we have a new campaign that we've been doing called Stockton True. And so uh, we have these shirts, and our T-shirts are only eight bucks. So most of the merchandise we sell, we sell good at cost or right above cost because we give so many away. We got to pay for our pay our bills, but we really want people to wear them. We don't want to. It's not a profit center for us, and never has been. Uh, so all of our T-shirts, uh, the majority of them are eight dollars. I um, like that. Is that a new logo? Talk talk about the Stockton True. How so did the that Stockton start? True is a campaign. Um, you know, we have our Stockton stock full of flavor branding, and you've seen that with mm -hmm. uh, the TOs, the the twos on their side. Stockton True is a campaign that we have now that really is trying to kind of just go against the grain of what folks hear. You know, everybody defines us by the negative reviews and the negative quotes and the most miserable city rankings. And that's not us. The Stockton True is the real people that are here in our community and the heart of our community, the events, the restaurants, that is Stockton True. We are all Stockton True, those of us who are passionate about our city. Um, and so that's a campaign you'll see a lot coming up in this year. And then we have our standard uh, Stockton stock full of flavor shirts. We have this in a lot of colors. Uh, this one happens to be like a Giants or Tigers color here, orange and black. And uh, this is our top selling shirt. I mean, we go through like Christmas was crazy this year. But eight dollars. Um, we have them in blue and red and green and black and brown and you name it. So uh, lots of shirts. And then um, well, something new we did this year: pop sockets. They're all the fad right now. I don't know if you they connect on the back of your phone, mm -hmm. so you can use them to hold your phone or stick up your phone, and those are five bucks. You can get them at a store for 10, you know, if you try to buy a pop socket anywhere. So um, we also sell some Stockton history books. Um, we have a big hardcover book that was written a couple years ago, and we sell the softcover books like um, Downtown Stockton and Stockton and Postcards and Stockton Then and Now. Um, and we have other hats. We just sold out of our um, winter beanies that we had uh, that were really popular. So check out StocktonSouvenirs.com for what we have in stock. And if you have any requests, if you think that there's something out there, let us know because we're always looking for, you know, what I've heard hoodies a lot. That's, you know, they just take up a lot hoodies. of space. <laughs> hoodies are very popular. And I like zip up hoodies, but our logo is tough to split down the middle. So we got to figure that or out. Or even but. a vest, a fleece vest. Yeah, th those mm -hmm. are cool too. So just, just let us know. But those are kind of some of the things you can get at Visit Stockton. We really focus on just celebrating the pride of our city and uh, getting the word out. And we need to be positive, just like what you said. People don't realize when they say something negative about our city, the trickle-down effects from that. Yeah. You know, I think 
you know, we've seen this in our research. We've done a lot of research on how we market our city and, and place our city in, within the rest of the state. And we are our own worst enemy. That comes up in a lot of our research. We tend to talk more negatively about ourselves than people outside of our community talk about us. And that doesn't do us any good because you put that stuff on Facebook, then your friends from out of town develops their opinion based on what you put on Facebook. And it's just, it's just not what we should do. We really got to stop folks from uh, tearing down our city because we'll never be the great city that we are and should be even greater um if we keep tearing ourselves down it's it's a self-esteem issue it's just like why you wouldn't say that stuff about yourself why would you want to say it about the place that you choose to live you choose to raise your family but you don't think it's a great place to be i think that doesn't make any sense and so i I, I i'm a second generation stocktonian my son's a third generation stocktonian so my dad chose to raise his family here i've chose to raise my family here and i i anticipate my kids will too so um that's a big where well, you decide to raise your family that's a big decision i would never choose to raise my family in a place that i didn't believe was a good place for them to be well, and for me, this is my adopted hometown. I work here and I do tons of volunteering here. And Stockton is an amazing place. And there's so many positives that people just aren't aware of. And we need to just continue to promote our city and promote the amazing things and opportunities that are here in Stockton. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. And it's exciting to hear that you're having a new event. Um, and we'll talk more about that. Any plans to have a wine event at all? No, there will be wine pairings with each course of this uh, Feast at the Fox event. Oh, awesome. Um, so we're definitely going to be um, focusing on um, county-based wineries for that pairing. Uh, we'll Excellent. probably actually include some uh, county uh, beer, too. Awesome. Uh, as part of our social hour of that. Um, so, yeah, we are definitely big on wine. You know, we market a lot of the Lodi wine region in our materials. In our farm guide, we book, you know, the farm guide, focuses a lot of on farms that aren't even in Stockton because it's a countywide farm guide. Mm -hmm. And we have a wine section in our visitor's guide because it's an important asset to our county. And visitors don't care that the wines in Lodi or the wineries in mm -hmm. Manteca. They just want to know what's nearby that they can experience. So we always are a big proponent within our visitor guide and our website of promoting countywide activities because we want to make sure our visitor has the best experience possible. Yes. And when I went through the CTA program, and I'll have you talk about that now, that was one of the things that I really enjoyed, that the focus was was not just on our city, but the surrounding areas that were in our county and the amazing things that are so close by that people may not be aware of. Yeah, visitors don't care about city limits and boundaries. You know, it, a lot of those folks who live in more rural communities have to travel far for every experience they have. And the fact that you just have to go, oh my gosh, a 15, 20 minute drive to Lodi is not really a big deal to, hmm. to experience their great downtown and their wines. Our ambassador program has been a great success for us. Uh, it's five years old this year, so in May we're going to celebrate our fifth anniversary for the Certified Tourism Ambassador Program, or the Stockton Ambassador Program as we refer to it. And it's a national certification. Uh, there are some 25,000 certified ambassadors across the country. Uh, we are one of the four um, destinations in California that have the ambassador program. And we just well, certified our 500th ambassador Yay. this uh, last uh, class. And so... We do uh, certifications every other month. And so a little bit about the program. Uh, again, it's a national certification. Um, and so you get a pre-read binder. And it really is about uh, the CT program is about the visitor experience and how we enhance the visitor experience, right? How we leave everybody feeling that um, Stockton gets the value of a visitor. You know, we work hard at Visit Stockton to bring visitors to the city, but we have absolutely no control of the experience they have. Mm -hmm. They get, they don't call us and say, okay, we're in town now. What should we do? You know, they come, I mean, our hotels are so busy, so we know visitors are coming every day. And they come and they discover things on their own. So we have ambassadors throughout the community, community volunteers like yourself, people who work at hotels and restaurants, our CTAs. And so it just empowers them to assist visitors at a higher level and really help them and guide them towards a, a better experience. And so a part of how the, the certification works is we have bi-monthly classes. So every other month we're doing certifications. Uh, when you sign up for a class, uh, it's $25 uh, dollars for the certification you get a big binder gosh it's what 140 pages long it's no joke right uh, it took a little reading time. <laughs> yes it's your pre-read binder you'll get that about two weeks prior to the uh, certification and um it has all kinds of information a really Amazing history of yeah, our city we hear that a lot how well the history part of it is and of course a lot of assets to help you guide visitors on just attractions and things to do and, and that kind of visitor information um the certification is a four-hour um class and there's actually 
the exam at the end. It's an, it's an open book exam because it is a national certification, so we want to make sure that everybody's taught to the same standard and also um, takes the same exam at the end. And after that, you get uh, your certificate. You get a little pin. Uh, like a gold star pin that I'm wearing here. And um, you can actually, uh, a lot of our CTAs put CTA behind their initials because it is a certification. And uh, we, we work hard to keep our CTAs engaged throughout the year too. We, you know, we have a lunch and learn next week um, mm-hmm. with the uh, Conservatory of Music from Pacific. And so that's for our CTAs only. And we're doing a night at the uh, Stockton Heat where we'll get a tour of the facility ahead of time. And we do stuff throughout the year with, uh, we do a boat cruise and we've done tours and all kinds of activities to keep our CTAs engaged. It's a networking type activity also. We had the City Hall tour. I yeah, that, that was that cool was too. Cool. Yeah. Um, so our goal is to keep them engaged, keep them networking, keep CTAs working together to make Stockton um, a better experience because we can't... Uh, as I mentioned, we can't control that experience, but we can definitely differentiate ourselves. If people come here, we may not have the most attractions, the most bells and whistles of, of a lot of other cities in California, because California is ridiculously awesome with things to do. Um, but we hope that the way you're treated here and the way you're assisted here and the experience you do have here is a positive one. And so we're just working on kind of moving the needle in that way. Definitely. Um, Do you want to go ahead and repeat your contact information, your website, phone number, Facebook, and such? Yeah. Uh, Visitstockton.org is our website. And uh, like I said, that is the most comprehensive list of uh, things to do and events in our community. But I would also say um, check out our blogs there. We've got some really cool blogs, you know, restaurant lists and cool lists of things to do. Um, Our Facebook, just type in Visit Stockton and you'll find our Facebook page, our Instagram. We actually still we do instagram we do twitter we're very active on all three of these three of those we still do pinterest for those who are on pinterest we post our blogs on there um, and we use it for other events Uh, we have a great youtube channel so if you haven't seen the stuff miguel does in our office in promoting uh, stockton through video uh, we've done a lot of stuff on youtube um, and we've actually made a big goal on increasing our viewership there and this year we just i can't i think we have two hundred and fifty thousand minutes of views uh on youtube uh and and a lot of that helped we had a couple great things the ncaa's this year that we did uh, brought a lot of traffic to our youtube page but also our Stockton Song Contest winner, uh, Brandon. Yes, Brandon's uh, amazing. Yeah, he is. We'll be doing another Stockton Song Contest in 2019. So cool. for those who didn't get in on the 2018 one, um, check it out there. And, you know, you, again, you can always text us at that toll-free number, 877-778-6258. You could text us, like, I'm looking for information on this event or I'm looking for uh, a recommendation on uh, one of a best margarita or something like that. You can text us uh, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week and a live person from our office will answer your question. And that's awesome. That's new. I was really impressed to hear about that when I went through the CTA program um, because it's so convenient. Yeah, which, you know, we really just try to figure out where the visitor is. You know, you're starting to see a lot more folks using chat-based platforms. Facebook Messenger is a big one. Um, But a lot of businesses are using chatbots where it's not a real person. And, of course, I'm sure we'll go to chatbots someday because the technology is getting to where they can answer all the questions. But folks ask some very particular questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, We did have a question in our chat about um, uh, gluten-free options during restaurant week. We had that this week. So that's something a chatbot not necessarily could answer. So... Um, we just want to be accessible to folks and make sure that they uh, get the information they need. So our, our website's very mobile friendly also. So uh, the majority of our traffic comes from mobile devices. Is the visitor's guide online also? Yes, there's a page flip version of that. I mean, it, obviously it includes most of the uh, things that we have Um on our website, um, but it, there's a page flip digital version that you can awesome. go through that the links are all linked. And I, as I mentioned, the new one will come out. Um, that comes out, uh, that could get delivered tomorrow to our, all right. our unit. So you'll Exciting. start seeing the community in the next week or so. Um, and we do 40,000 of these a year. And so uh, we mail They're them out to people done. who are coming ahead of time, but we also give out hotels and attractions. So it's really to help visitors find more stuff to do and hopefully extend their day or spend some more money because what we do in this community is not about only about bringing visitors to us. It's about bringing money. You know, this is about temporary taxpayers, people who come into our community, spend money and go home and our community will be a much more friends. Yes. And our community will be much more fiscally sound and much more better off in the end. When we get more people from outside this community to come here and spend their money here, we can't depend on our community to fund everything. And I would encourage Stocktonians to look at the visitor guys also, because even if you've lived here 10 years, been in the city longer, there's things in there that you might not be aware of. Oh, no doubt. I We hear it all the time from just 
these locals who just forget or just haven't been there. I mean, the Hag Museum is a great example. Mm -hmm. I think we all know people that haven't been there probably since the mummy was there. (laughs) Um, And uh, so I think, you know, we just can't take these assets for granted because what happens is, similar to Goff, um, you know, if you don't use it, these things can go away. And we've seen that in this community because if you've been here a long time like me, you know, when when you had a land of Goff land and Hammer Skate and all the things Mm -hmm. we had in our community that – you know, simply just did not make financial sense because they were underutilized. And then when they went away, people clamored. People upset, and you yeah. can't do that. You've got to support things that are here in our community. Um, and that's a great point. I'm glad yeah, you said that. You have to continue to do that and not take it for granted. If it's, and the Hag Museum, if you don't want to incur the cost, like you said, free Saturdays, first Saturday of every month, no excuse not mm-hmm. to go to that museum. And uh, even if you go on a free Saturday, you can go down to the store and buy a little gift and uh, support the museum that way because they have a really cool store down there. They do. Definitely. Any final comments, anything you wanted to touch on that we haven't already? No, I really think, uh, as we talked about, you know, it's it's about the pride thing. I think we need to, as a city, um, you know, we're here to promote the city and, and fill hotel rooms and bring, you know, big sporting events in. And we have Amgen Tour California Bike Race coming in May, Yay. which we're very excited about. The That's week awesome. after Feast at the Fox. So May is going to be really busy for us. Um, but we also are really big on just getting our locals to have a, a different and positive view about our city. And and to remind them that there are great people here, great things to do here, and great reasons to uh, bring visitors to town. And so Definitely. if we ever can help uh, anybody um, with providing visitor guides to small groups you're bringing in, I, we provide visitor guides to family reunions and weddings. We should have some here at the studio. Yeah. Um, we can uh, provide them to anybody, but we also can help if you want to bring a conference or a meeting or a sporting event in town, uh, talk to us because we can assist you there. Awesome. So we just want to make our city better. We've been around a long time doing that. We have a phenomenal team in our office. I mean, I, I um, probably get more give a shout out credit. To yeah. Staff? You know, um, of course, Megan, who runs our CTA program, is our office manager. She runs our events calendar. She's the voice you talk to uh, when you call us. Uh, she's phenomenal. And she's um, uh, been there with us. Uh, six years almost now. Uh, Tim runs our sports program. He's phenomenal and has brought in, he brought in the NCAA regionals last year and, and is working on Amgen now for this year. Um, and then Robin's our director of marketing, Robin Chester. She sits on the Eleanor Project Board she's of Directors. Awesome. Um, and so she's involved in our community. And um, and then we have Chris as our graphic designer. Um, and so she does our visitor's guide and our calendar all in house. We do all of that um, and all of our ads. Oh, awesome. And all all in that's, house. All of that's wow. in house. We don't work that's with awesome. uh, any, we're our own agency because we, churn and burn so much designed stuff uh and then uh miguel does our social media and you probably know miguel um because he does all of our social media see him out doing all kinds of stuff he's taking pictures of all of our food uh and things like that and then we have kelsey who's in our special events department and she works with tim uh to make sure that all of our events go off without a hitch you know we need to service our events you can't just bring them here but you got to make sure that the experience they have here not just the experience the attendees have the experience the the sports planner the Mm -hmm. person that's bringing the event has and we really want to make sure that they come back yeah that's the deal the one getting in one time is easy getting in twice is where you really got to work hard and we also have our stock and savings pass i wanted to share that and our savings pass is a mobile only uh basically a coupon book and you've seen these uh books that kids use for fundraising actually you can use this pass for a fundraisers nonprofits can reach out to us about that uh sysa is doing that now um but basically uh it's 20 bucks and uh, you get it on your phone. It's not an app. It's just a, a, a link on your desktop on your phone who, that uh, takes you to a site. And we right now have, I think, nearly 50 participating businesses. And you can get deals and discounts. And they're not just once. They're daily reoccurring. So, like, I know there's a daily Subway discount. Uh, there's daily discounts at Whirlows and Taps and tons of Sky Zones on there, awesome. Zap Zones on there. Uh, so uh, check it out. Just 20 bucks and um, Stock and Savings Pass is what that's called, stockandsavingspass.com. You know, we have about 40 domains under our purview. So <laughs> <laughs> we want to try to make it as easy as possible. So, But thank you again for having me and, and what you guys here do for the community to promote and celebrate Stockton. Um, I think every little bit of this helps all of us Definitely. in this community and reminds us of the good things and the good people that are, that are uh, here in the city. And thank you for being here. And I appreciate you also supporting our our professional basketball team and and how awesome that is and i'm hoping that that's it's just going to be a win-win for our community um and i wanted to give a shout out to the voice of stockton because just like you said 
They are such a strong supporter of our community. I am the voice of Stockton. You are the voice of Stockton. We are the voice of Stockton. And every positive thing we can do and say and promote in our community trickles down and has a great effect. And I want to thank you for being here today. I'm going to also close with giving a shout out to Stockton Veterinary Emergency and Specialty Center and make it a great day.